On behalf of the men and women of the Women in Leadership at EMD Serono and Merck KGAA, I cannot thank you enough for bestowing this honor upon us. And truly, earning the Healthcare Business Women's Association ACE Award is incredibly validating because it's truly an award from a jury of our peers. What started as a water cooler conversation between Eileen Martin and Bryn Chase has become a movement that's changed the culture of our company. So when I found out uh, that EMD Serono Women in Leadership, we won the ACE Award, I think I started screaming. I was so excited um, just to think back at how far we We've come, and that you know, it's not just Eileen and I um, or all of our other Will Summit leaders. It's hundreds of people who have gone into making this happen and really celebrating that we need to have a diverse and inclusive workforce. People in the organization globally are more consciously aware of the talented women in this organization and taking accountability for helping to pull them forward. Throughout the last three years, I've had the opportunity to work alongside some amazing men and women whose aspiration is to drive the importance of gender balance forward. Being a part of this team has made me look at myself both personally and professionally and has given me the courage to step outside of my comfort zone. Before being involved in Will, I used to be the type of employee who would just put my head down, do my work, look up, and hope that someone noticed. But through the process of being in charge of the Will Summit, I truly learned that I needed to be my own career advocate. Will has really shined a light on the idea that you can't just sit back. You can't just think that someone's gonna come knocking on your door and say, hey Beth, do you want this amazing new opportunity? That's just not gonna happen. You really need to own it. You need to own your career and your own path. What inspires me most about women in leadership are the stories the stories from my colleagues, whether it's in the hallway, by phone, or by email, talking about the fact that they attended a Will-sponsored event and it helped them in their career by asking for a promotion that they didn't think they were qualified for, or for having that difficult conversation with a colleague that they've been waiting to have but haven't had the courage to do so. I first got exposed to Will last year as I was serving on their global action team. And through that work, I was able not only to gain exposure to senior leadership, but also it gave me the confidence to start a diversity initiative called the Leaders of Color. And let me tell you, had it not been for women in leadership, there will be no leaders of color because that team essentially blazed the trail for us. So we thank you and thank you to all the women and men involved.